Hello guys, my name is Rahul Sa and I'm from myview.travelnavy.net. So here in this case, we are in actually in the last module of this particular section, building a spine two hours. So the fact is, actually I have um, coded and uh, post that entire things on that GitHub. So let me show you that. Uh, but uh, before that, uh, let me give you the claims of that, what I have done so far. So let me collapse this window up here and um, this one right so uh, we'll talk first with this movie review api because we have been adding this uh, project in the last section right so let me show you what i have done here so here i have uh, installed a couple of packages so uh, let me show you that installed ones so the fact is here is uh, this is the latest one which i have installed this microsoft asp.net core support so core support comes into the picture because currently we are going to use data which is going to be delivered by this guy api in our project so as i saw as i told you that uh, this particular api project is uh, hosted on a domain um, 62896 right and there is one more setting which i have done here is don't do not open a page and because uh, uh, here um, this both the projects are running simultaneously uh, so if you see this here in this properties I have done this multiple startup projects movie review API which is the back end of this where all uh, data container is hosted and it is going to give us that data movie review demo is nothing but a web app which we have already seen so because of this reason I have kept this particular API project as to not open a page when uh, the project gets started this will be as a background process for this uh, particular entire app that's the one thing apart from that um, since I have enabled this particular course so I have to tell this in API config as well so let's get into this um, app start folder and this is the API piece so here I have enabled that course I'm saying that okay I have enabled that course and uh, one more thing I have done is uh, um, just making sure that uh, everything is camel case because I usually follow this particular thing. So let me just unpin this here. And uh, this is the media format because this I wanted to output that entire thing as in JSON type rather than XML type. So this is the one thing which we have already seen in the last module, right? This is the new thing which got added here. Apart from that, uh, there are then here in that movies controller i have done this change enable cost so this is um, uh, other two constructors are basically allowing all the headers and uh, coming from all different origins so that is why i marked as um, uh, my, marked as, as a star so you can learn about this enable cost more about that on that microsoft uh, uh, api uh, like how it works and you can delve around that so now this is coming from because this is the origin from where it is being requested uh, as you can see here this api port is uh, 62896 where it is hosted right but this is the one uh, which is having that uh, web port like uh, my project which is having this guy uh, this one so this is going to request this particular thing so this is the port for that so this, this is the origin port this is for headers and uh, uh, allow all other stuff so that is what I have made it as a star now um, the very crucial fact here is in that solution explorer which I would like to show here is uh, uh, so basically here in this case <laughs> I am not actually coding I am just giving you a uh, glimpse of that what is being done because all heavy lifting is done so this is just an overview of what is being done over here so let me collapse this movie review API. Now <clears throat> there are a couple of things I have changed here. Uh, first of all, I have added this common folder. So in that common services, what I have done here is I have created one module, right? And saying setting, and this is relying on ng resource. So ng resource, if you see here, I have installed one more Angular piece here. Let me just give you. So if you search for angular guy here so these are the pieces which is already installed so you have learned about Ang uh, angular route and uh, gerot we have already seen here yeah, i have installed another route so i thought it would be nice to show you another stateful routing uh, rather than relying on ng route so 
this is the thing I have installed an NG resource which you are seeing here that NG resource so this particular uh, new module is dependent on this ng resource which is uh, having the server path uh, nothing but my project path of that uh, api uh, movie review api so this is that and apart from that there is a one movie service so this uh, this is good for uh, increasing reusability in your uh, project right you can all have uh, apis at one place right and um, <clears throat> this is just making a call here with that server path and appending this particular api movies so this will hit uh, to that particular uh, movies controller and return back this is an optional id parameter which is uh, not in use currently that's okay and uh, with this changes in place right i have also uh, made it min safe right because if you see that this is wrapped in an array what happens is like uh, in production when you are going is in, um, uh, uh, making this a mean file right so I have not installed that particular uh, web essentials so you can uh, install that web essentials uh, from uh, extension and tools and extensions and that will give you a, um, a complete holistic view on that like how to minify the file so once you minify the file it always happens like uh, there are things uh, particular things like um, uh, full name right so usually um, collapsed in that uh, single word or two or two three letters right so in that case it breaks right so this array kind of convention it makes sure that nothing nothing will break so this is the one that means safe case which i have covered here apart from that uh, there is little bit uh, changes here in that uh, controller so if you see that now this controller is again that is uh, keeping min safe in uh, practice so I have wrapped here as well in array so this is movies controller dependent on movies app as usual and this movie service uh, this movie controller is dependent on movie service which we have created here so this is the movie service and here is that movie controller which is getting invoked from here and, uh, and getting passed here so this movie controller is having this movie service and one more thing I have using here is um, is like um, a controller as properties it is basically um, this is one of the conventions to use that so rather than uh, using dollar scope if, if you can use that uh, simple this operator this is very pretty uh, easy uh, in javascript and uh, this is um, pretty uh, uh, old concept of using this property here so whatever is coming as property here in movie services is getting assigned here in vm and it is just making a restful query here so movie service is making a query so this is just a get query and uh, here in the callback function data is getting populated after uh, getting fetched from the server and the same is uh, populated here in dot vm dot movies so in that uh, home html i have just marked as a controller so uh, this is that aliasing piece right so movies controller as vm and here it is going to uh, check in um, the property vm dot movies so one by one uh, we will be checking here like movie name director name release here number of uh, reviews so rather than relying on that mock data which we were using initially i have done the change to get the data from uh, api which is nothing but uh, this json data movies dot json which you are seeing here this is the same data and getting pushed here so this is uh, something uh, i mean just a glimpse of building a spy in two hours so i have just covered this piece uh, try to cover the major heavy lifting of that in two hours what what we usually do if you want to learn more about that thing like uh, I, mean, I mean that minute things like how to write the framework and everything so i have already uh, published one book around that let me show you that so this is the one uh, which talks about end-to-end -end writing in spa uh, full featured framework with uh, even minute detailing is there like uh, solid principles factory design factory patterns other uh, uh, toaster chairs and other pa patterns like jasmine unit test cases q unit and everything is there so you can learn more about this here and there is one url which is uh, this one wherein this is 
uh, particular project is already hosted so you can see that so many people are using around the world and 66 movies have been so far logged in and these are all uh, i think chunk data so here you will learn many things like uh, i mean paging and ui attributes and about the app if you see that so here you will find that like what are the technologies from the client side perspective is involved from the server side is involved design technologies and everything um, uh, whatever you need this is also a get link to download that project i have also uh, post this particular project which i have built in two hours here in this link uh, so rahul's i19 movie reviews is part demo so you can uh, just get into this link and uh, download this complete project uh, which i have built live in two hours apart from that uh, let's see this project in action uh, when you see this here so this is just coming here uh, from that piece so this is the thing which we have made in two hours i hope you have liked that and i'm keeping this particular shell as an empty new movie uh, as an assignment for you because these things are already covered in that particular book so if you like to go ahead and uh, do something um, tricky here i mean uh, rather than doing sequel or uh, rather than doing chase on things uh, uh, enable that sequel thing and uh, go ahead and write that complete app uh, that is already written there in that uh, spa project which i have been showing you that on amazon but if uh, if you are not very much handful i mean handy with um, angular chairs and you want to learn uh, right from the beginning so you can uh, refer this one uh, getting started with angular chairs so this is something uh, which only needs uh, javascript background that's it basic javascript background also you, uh, you must be having i am very pretty sure on that so <clears throat> if you are having only this much of knowledge you can go ahead and get started with that this also covers um, complete detailing around that how to get started with angular.js and minute things like how it works i hope you have liked this things with this i'd like to wrap this session over here and stay tuned and happy coding